Hello, Dave Morelli here. I had uh, a few people ask uh, about sighting these these guns in, and uh, that's kind of a loaded question because you've got to mix your loads. It's really not any different than a modern rifle. You have to first find a load that groups good, and then you have to adjust the sights to uh, make the ball hit where you want it to hit when the sight is in a, in a certain position, which would be, we know we want the front blade right in between the rear um, notch and level at the top for a hit. Um, I start at 25 yards. I'll start closer than that if I'm not keeping them on the paper, just till I figure out which way I gotta move the sight. And uh, I think the biggest question is moving the sights. So we're gonna start with that first. Okay, one of the questions I get a lot is which way to move the sights? And it depends on which sight you're working with. Um, we're gonna start with right and left. Right and left is called windage. And this uh, last shot I just took is a couple inches high and it's right perfect dead center right and left. The windage is perfect. Um, let's say that shot went to the left okay and we need to move it to the right to put it on center we need to change the windage to the right if you're moving the rear sight you move the sight the direction you want the bullet to go so if it's shooting to the left and we want to move it to the right we move the rear sight to the right and of course if it's the other way around and up and down it's the same thing uh, one of the ways to remember that is if you've ever seen uh, sights on a buffalo gun, the veneer sight, and they got the big long ladder that uh, the sight moves up and down. When you're shooting further away and you want the bullet to go up, you move it up the ladder. So the way you want the bullet to go is the way you move the rear sight. If for some reason, and I don't like to move the front sight unless I absolutely have to, I like to center it on the barrel uh, so that it aesthetically looks good. Uh, but if you have to move the front sight, right or left, you go opposite the way you want the bullet to go. So if I'm shooting to the left and I want the bullet to go to the right, then I would tap the front sight to the left and that will cause me to aim more to the right and, and put the bullet further right. Okay, this particular rifle uh, is fitted with an adjustable type sight that would have probably been on later, later in the history of this rifle. Um, and when I say it's adjustable, it has a little ladder in there that you can make the rear sight go up or down depending on which way you need your ball to go. And this would be an adjustable one. Up and down is called elevation. Side to side is called windage. Now, most of these old guns, windage is not adjusted with a ladder or a screw. It is adjusted by tapping the sight right here tapping it right or left in the dovetail to get the ball to go the direction you want. The front sight on this one's also the same. It's in a dovetail. Um, if you need the ball to go up and down, uh, you'd have to raise or lower this, which is kind of hard to do, and I'll show you what you might have to do. This is a Lyman trade rifle. And you have a choice of which you can do. You can put a, an adjustable sight that has a screw for up and down adjustment right here. But windage is going to be also adjusted by tapping it either way in the dovetail. And this trade rifle also has a dovetail for the front sight. This is the rifle we just finished in the shop. <coughs> and uh, it needs to be sighted in today. And you can see it has just a fixed sight. Uh, 
So the only thing that's movable on this is windage, side to side. You can tap it uh, one way or another to uh, get the ball to go the direction you want. We're going to shoot this one here and see where it's where it's going to shoot to. Okay, so now that gives you an idea which way you need to go with the sights to move your ball and kind of a little bit of how to get there. Um, we're going to show you when we sight this other one in what we have to do when it's all fixed sights. Okay. Uh, it's looking like it went lay, way low. Right and left, it's okay. Let's go take a look. Okay. This is the first shot that I took, uh, and I was aiming at this circle. This is the first shot I took at the beginning of the video. You can see. Uh, windage wise it's just right and elevation it's a little bit high but that's okay because that site was my hundred yards was on my hundred yard mark so that's fine um, the shot we just took you could see that I uh, I aimed at this circle however it's low and it's a little left so what we're gonna need to do is tap the rear sight to the right just a tiny bit and then I'm going to show you how we can bring that up. So let's get on it. Okay. So one of the things I like to do before we start grinding on it and cutting on it and, and uh, filing on sights is work with the load a little bit. Um, I reloaded this with 80 grains. And I'm using a 10 thousandths patch and uh, it loads real good with it and I haven't looked to see if it's burnt through or not I guess I'll try to find a patch and and see if they're burnt through but I might go to a tighter patch which may also raise my impact point without changing anything um, physically on the rifle so let's give this uh, let's give this 80 grain charge a try and see what it does Okay, I can see right now that the 80 grain moved it up, oh, probably an inch and a half or so, maybe two inches it looks like from here. So now the next thing I might try would be the 80 grains uh, with an 015 patch and see if that brings it up any at all. Um, if you raise this group up, it'd be right here. For me, in my eyes, looking through uh, fixed sights or open sights, I don't know if I'd bother moving it that much because this little windage here, that might just be the way I aimed at that. This is a small circle behind that post, even at 25 yards. You know, for deer hunting or elk hunting, as long as you know that and, and, and you've shot it at 100 yards and you know where it's going to be, um, that might be enough that you can just adjust it and do some Kentucky windage on the animal uh, to get it where you want it. Okay, so on a traditional rifle, we need to make this ball shoot higher at, at our 25-yard target. Um, so, like we said, uh, if you're going to use the rear sight, you're going to move the rear sight, then you have to make the rear sight higher because you want it to go the direction, you want to move it the direction that you want the ball to go. One way you can do that is of course put those uh, adjustable sights on and then you can move the little ladder and, and pick it up there and probably get it on. Um, if you want to stay with a traditional sight you can get one like this and you can see how high that sight is. I mean it's probably half again as high as the uh, sight that's on that rifle. Now you might not want this sight to be this high but it gives you the extra metal that you can probably file it down to where it's acceptable but it'll hit on where you want it. So that's one way is to lift the rear sight. The other way 
we figured is to lower the front sight because that one you move it opposite the way you want the bullet to go so you want the bullet to go up so you need to make that sight lower you can file that down with a with a small mill file and and then sand it top of it so it doesn't have the file marks on it or you can get a lower sight now I have one here that was filed down and it's quite a bit lower it's probably a sixteenth inch lower than the one on the gun so I don't have to buy one I can try this one first and you can buy these in all different sizes from your muzzleloader guys so um, that's another way of doing it without following on the sight I'm gonna put this one on and we'll give it a try so stand by there just a second go get a cup of coffee Okay, I'm going to shoot at the same circle. Okay, that brought it up a little bit more, a couple more inches. I'm going to keep working on this rifle. That's how you sight them in. Good luck to you, and I'll see you next time.